But who goes through? Chelsea go through. And why? Because I just think a couple of things. I think that they're. they're They've been excellent. What have they had? They've had one kind of dodgy performance with, with West Brom at home when they get set, um, they're sending off to deal with um, when West Brom were brilliant. Apart from that, I think we can agree they have been ex- you know, very consistently um, good and they've performed really, really well. And I just don't think it's the Real Madrid side you know, of of yesteryear, you know, and I think Chelsea will have a good opportunity to get a good result tonight to come back to the bridge and see see the job through. Mm. Darren, what do you think? Yeah, I'm a value I'm, I'm going Chelsea. I've, I've always thought Chelsea, just because I don't think they have to be spectacular to win. And I think that's where, as Ali was saying again, Real Madrid are not the Real Madrid of old. Mm. And with Chelsea, they know they can grind out results. I just feel that they'll have the edge. No, I said, I don't think they'll be spectacular, mm. but I think they'll win. They obviously used to score more goals when Frank Lampard was in charge, but obviously um, conceded more goals as well. Yeah. Um, lots have been talking about the, the different style that Chelsea are playing with. Do you think they're boring to watch now? Are you still enjoying them? Um, I, I I, they're not the most exciting team, but what I will say is there's a purpose to the, the way they're playing. So, yeah, mm. th- as I said, they're not being spectacular, scoring loads of goals, but they're being really efficient. Whereas you look at, say, someone like Marino at Spurs, where maybe it was a bit defensive, wasn't great to watch. There was no real purpose to it. Whereas under Thomas Tuchel, I can generally see what he's trying to do. And that's why they're getting positive results. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get more on tonight's Champions League semi-final. We are joined by the man in the gantry for TalkSport tonight, former Chelsea man, Andy Townsend. Morning, Andy. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Laura, Darren, Quincy. How are we? Excellent, Andy. You'll be looking forward to this game tonight. Yeah, really looking forward to it. And, And as you've all just said, you know, now we're... At this stage of the competition, we're talking fine margins, um, a moment's brilliance, a, a moment, a lapse in concentration. Uh, anything like that can be absolutely devastating to you. So it's, uh, it's, it's right in the balance this time. Very difficult to, uh, to split the team. No Ramos again for Real Madrid, um, but they didn't yeah. have him in the last round and they still managed to make it through. How much of an effect do you think that will have and, and how strong are this Real Madrid side for you? Um, again, just like Ali said there, and Darren, I, I, I totally agree. It's, they're not, they don't sparkle like they've done uh, in years gone by, that's for sure. But they just have tremendous pedigree and know-how in this competition. They, they genuinely believe, I think, whatever Real Madrid 11 pull on the white shirt, they all feel that they could win this competition. Um, they've still got a lot of experience in there. They've still got uh, some top, top operators. Um, but I, I, I just don't see them as quite the, the devastating threat they once were. And, and because of that, they're playing against such an organised Thomas Tuchel team that uh, I like this, Laura. I tend to think that Chelsea have got what it takes to sneak through this over two legs. Andy, I mean, where do you think the game could be won and lost um, in terms of the, obviously Madrid versus well, Chelsea? My, my only worry, Darren, my worry for them, and you guys just mentioned about not the most uh, flamboyant in terms of a creating open play and creating goals and opportunities. I was at West Ham at the weekend um, and I thought Timo Werner worked really hard and got into some great situations, but he did pass up some, some glorious mm. opportunities yeah. as well. And tonight, that's my worry for Chelsea tonight. I don't, I don't have concerns about them trying to... Trying to and hopefully they can do that. If they get opportunities, can they take them? Can they absolutely you know, just create chances and one of them ends up in the back of the net because they could do with a goal tonight for sure. Andy, tell me a little bit about um, <clears throat> substitute that came on for Real Madrid at the weekend. I think it was nothing each to do with, with, with Betis. Um, Eden Hazard. Now, it seems to be rightly or wrongly, in my opinion, a kind of forgotten man a little bit. He clearly hasn't hit the heights at Madrid that we expected him to although it could be very, very dangerous for Chelsea. It could, I mean, he, yeah. effectively, he could come back and bite them, couldn't he? Well, he could. He could. Look, and I, I mean, it's, whenever, whenever you lose a player like Hazard, it was so, so brilliant to watch at Chelsea and, and, and in the Premier League. It's always a bit of a blow. And then you see him go somewhere, and I actually like it. If they're going to go, well, you want to see him go and really show everyone, show the world what we've all been watching for the last few years. And then he goes there, and Arby kicks a ball for him. He doesn't look in good shape. He's not able to uh, to produce anything like his best and has hardly figured. So, so again, um, looking, listening to uh, to what Zidane has been saying about him, saying that he's now ready. He's mentally ready. He's physically ready. Um, and, yep, they introduced him at the weekend. Disappointing result for them. But yeah. there's no question that 
the and, and again, any anyone that's you know sometimes you you hear players talking about when they play against their old team. We've all been there. You know, there is a little bit of added extra incentive. There is a little bit of extra spite there. Want you know in terms of wanting to to go out and just remind one or two of what you're all about. So uh, so I'm sure if if Hazard starts tonight, then uh, he'll uh, he'll be a threat, no doubt about that. What do you think about the way that the um, Champions League, the kind of reformation of it, the new plans for it, what do you think about the way that they are wanting to expand it, have more teams now? Not a lot. He's speechless. <laughs> it's taken him by, by it surprise. It was a taxing question, right enough, I thought. I'm so glad you fired that Andy and not asked. Yeah. I hope I didn't ruin my relationship with Andy because <laughs> I'm a big fan of Andy Townsend. Hopefully he'll come back on to the breakfast show. If not, um, we can hear him tonight because he's in commentary with Jim Proudfoot. It's going to be presented by Mark Saggers. It's 8 o'clock, Real Madrid against Chelsea.